Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, VAG Technic, and uh, yeah, I didn't actually plan to film this video, but as you can see, we already started the job actually, but I thought it might be interesting for some of you, you might have the similar issue, might save a bit of a time and money actually, so um, yeah, I was reading the comments, some of you is making the fun of our uh, garage name, VAG Technic, for people who don't know, it's nothing to do with women genitals, it's a uh, Volkswagen Auto Group. So yeah, but back to the topic. So yeah, uh, Derek, owner of this vehicle, contacted us last year, December, and uh, he said in the emails he've got some issues with uh, loss of coolant, and um, he couldn't really see uh, any leaks of of the coolant from the engine. So the car was in the garage before he actually came to us. They replaced some coolant pipes and some bits and bobs. They actually done a test, pressure test of the coolant system. So they didn't find any leaks. And uh, yeah, we will have to go a few days back, actually when I start filming it, to explain you how the car was delivered, what we inspected, what we suggest might be the issue. So uh, stay tuned. This will be a bit of a interesting to see what's going on inside. So yeah, let's get to it. Right guys, so here's the car on the ramp. It was actually driven down to our place. And first thing first, I'm gonna check the oil cup. Boom, straight away, yeah, we can tell we have coolant in the oil. Bruh. The worst nightmare what can possibly happen. So, I don't want to say at this point it's head gasket. You can obviously see the coolant is missing. We were told uh, coolant was stopped up several times. Just have a look at the stage of the oil filter and the oil is just fully mixed oil with coolant. First thing first, definitely gonna drain the oil. There's no point putting no oil flush in this. Sooner it will be out of the car, better. Point we have actually two options. Option number one, it's the oil cooler, which is mounted onto the side of the engine. Probably the best thing to check at is disconnect the coolant pipes from the cooler. If you don't have any oil coming from the coolant, the oil cooler should be actually fine. You can put the coolant pipes back on. I don't really think there will be an issue. It is definitely leaking a bit somewhere from the top but the oil cooler is not the case this time so we will have to move to the top of the engine so we have to get underneath the supercharger there you go you can see straight away we have a coolant leak from actual pcv valve i'm not sure what's causing it yet but unfortunately through the pcv it gets into the supercharger and into the intake so unfortunately this engine was consuming coolant as soon as the supercharger is off you can see the state of the coolers inside the supercharger so i'm not sure if they actually cracked but we definitely have to replace them the whole pcv system is filled with mixed oil with coolant so that needs definitely cleaning along with the block inside the v so after we remove the pcv valve yeah, we straight away can confirm that the coolant was getting inside the engine through the PCV. So, you can also see some silicon spots, but also you can see some cracks in the PCV valve itself. And all the plastic bits what fell out after we remove it. So next step will be, we have to clean up absolutely everything from inside the engine and around the PCV so we can fit a new PCV back into the engine and just do a typical job. Once the supercharger is off, that means uh, we will take the injectors out, we will clean them. Also, we have to do the carbon cleaning and replace all the gasket. After everything is done, we can move on to the supercharger. I removed the radiators from inside the supercharger, you can see the state of them. Luckily, I don't see any damage on the supercharger internally, so that should be fine. We're just gonna clean it up, dry it up from all the coolant, replace all the gaskets, put the new radiators in, and should be good to go. Homie, the dash is digital, gas residual, fire smoke, like I'm eating a ritual, you and my cash is on, hide it. 
the gas, I'm gone, running my way. I've been stuck in my zone, I've been a blast them all, sliding on faith. I've been a finding my ways, grinding for days, I've been a shining the hate. All of y'all wanted for praise, stuck in a phase, let it and turn it a blaze. Yeah, homie, you don't wanna race, nah, better to stick to your place. Yeah, want it all, I got a taste, you push on the pedal, now I got a skate. Yeah, all I ever known, put me on this throne, pinnacle, push my buttons and that motherfucker go. What you know, what you, what you own, push it and I zoom, sonic booms, full of fuck room, run it till the tomb with my goons, motherfucker. Y'all know what it do with the crew when we coming through Y'all know better move, make it fast, see no second chance Coming for your ass, turn to ash, burning rubber Now I'm better push the gas like So before putting the sump plug, I wanna just add some oil So everything will leak out from the oil sump as much as we can uh, After everything out we can put the sand plug with the new washer and first new oil filter is coming on we can start the engine afterwards So I left the engine running so we get to the working temperature after everything was warmed up I put oil flush in the engine you can see all the steam coming up so that's basically still the coolant in the system I left the engine running for like 20 minutes and then we drain the oil again put new filter and put new oil a new adventure the cars on the ramp just gonna quickly check everything underneath there's definitely some exhaust leak as you can see it's not the best but uh, mainly I want to check the front suspension because we were told it is knocking and squeezing so this is the dust cover for the ball joint it's not in the best shape other side the dust cover as well is actually leaking and the lower arm bushes are absolutely gone so that will be probably a very near future job. Okay, so the car's out of the workshop finally. And uh, yeah, we've done two oil changes and the cooler seems to be on the correct level, which is fine. So the car was running inside already, so it's warm. We still have a bit of a grease or mixed up Bruh. on the oil cup, but from inside it looks much, much better. So I will advise the owner here should come for all change a bit sooner than normally and uh, yeah next up we will perform a test drive so let's hop in and I will have to check the coolant level after the test drive once it's done I didn't even know how much mileage we got 126,000 on the clock MRC tuned S5 right huh. Thank you very much Audi for the seat belt. This is what I like about this convertible unit. Audi will hang you the seat belt. Oil level, okay. So we should be cool. Actually drive the car. Right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the soft limiter was removed, which is cool. And uh, yeah, the exhaust is aftermarket, but it sounds, I would say, decent. Yeah, it's not absolutely loud. You've seen the exhaust from other anyways. Okay, so I will do a small drive around the corner. Then we can sort of uh, double check everything. And then we will 
do like a small performance test drive alias abuse customer vehicle and we will see how it goes pick up the worst time around Dudley area it's four o'clock three o'clock and I'm stuck in the traffic so from performing a test drive and performing idling stand still we did done first couple of miles and temperature seems to be fine engine is not knocking which is the best news because you've seen the oil what came out and somehow it didn't really damage the engine which is absolutely brilliant otherwise we will need uh, bottom end rebuild or whatever whatever, whatever. so um, the car is running fine i didn't check the performance wise of the vehicle yet but there's no engine lights which seems to be all right as well and uh, yeah i will stop somewhere soon i'm gonna have a look at the coolant level if it didn't went down so we know we're not actually burning or losing any coolant what was the issue in the beginning and uh, then we can perform abusing test drive of the MRC Audi S5. We also had a conversation with uh, Derek. He was asking for the catalytic converters because he's seen our uh, previous videos, how they're failing, which they are failing. And uh, probably in the near future, he will want to get them removed just in case because you might end up with a damaged engine. However, MRC is saying if you will remove the catalytic converters, you might lose a bit of a power, don't know, but um, if you've seen the video of the Blue S5, the 5 double we've done, we did remove the catalytic converters, we went on a dyno to um, Mallory performance and actually the car gained 15 bhp by removing it. I, I don't know how the back pressure is working when the car is actually tuned afterwards and so on and so on so I can't tell if it's actually going to lose power but uh, I would rather lose even 15 brake horsepower than have a cracked piston or whatever because we have the red S5 in the yard now parked on the corner that needs new engine that's MRC tune as well actually and I'm suggesting one of the catalytic converters when the car was driven and cylinder number three has no compression so we will do a video later when the car will be on the ramp actually stripped down and we will inspect the engine what actually happened what might happen so we will keep you updated so the coolant level seems to be fine the engine is not tapping or making any noise so i think it should be all good abuse it's always these MRC maps yeah from low RPM or even mid-range the car is so responsive how are they doing it I mean it's in fifth gear now I'm just gonna barely touch the throttle and it wants to go straight away so MRC is always good yeah as soon as I've seen MRC it was remapped, yeah, guaranteed the map is, it's good. So, vehicle abusable too. The car's performing very well even in mid or high RPM. So, yeah, you can tell it is pushing quite a lot. Pull. Okay guys, so test drive of the convertible, if I have to compare convertible okay, or 5 door, I will definitely go for the 5 door for the practicality. I do like the convertibles, but uh, not in the winter time because in the summer you don't really take the roof off and the plastics are making a bit of a funny noise, so it's the only issue what I can see in the convertible.
Right guys, back at the workshop. I absolutely abused this vehicle this time. So uh, yeah, I think it's fine. The only thing is, it's making a bit of a cranking noise, what Derek actually mentioned. But I think it's the arms, what's the issue uh, with the noise. And uh, I even felt it when I was driving it that the steering is not as precise as it should be. So we have to do a bit of a more steering to actually keep the car in a straight line. But uh, yeah, main thing, I want to check the coolant again. See if we actually have any coolant lost in the reservoir. No, still there. Okay, so from my point of view, that should be repaired. Okay, done. So this S5 is a pre-phase lift 09 plate tuned by MRC. So the owner put these alloy wheels on, which looks quite niche, I would say. It's the B9 RS4, RS5 alloy style. Here we, we have the RS5 rear bumper as well. So the whole car was actually facelifted. So there's a front RS5 style bumper as well with facelift headlights and if you have a look from the front you notice know, something different the uh, Audi batch is on the bonnet and I sort of quite like it so there you go guys another S5 sorted this time we just actually done the PCV valve and everything was underneath the supercharger done the oil change twice put some additive afterwards the car seems to be all right for now like I said I will advise the owner to come for oil change a bit sooner than usual and uh, yeah um, and for a test drive, as you saw, I test drive the car first in a normal matter, then uh, just trying to push the engine a bit, um, like four, five, six thousand RPM. Reason why we're doing it, we gotta test drive it. Um, yeah, I was test driving the S6 over there, which was here for eight months, never ending story, V8, everything's obsolete, never mind, videos coming out, you will see the whole story. And actually, when I was driving the car normal way, in drive, sort of low RPM, uh, everything seems to be fine. Soon as I tried the high range RPM, unfortunately, one of the coolant pipes from the heating metrics went. So this is the sort of things we tried to find out when test driving cars before and after actually the job's done. Uh -huh, I didn't draw this one. Uh, before we've done the job because you've seen the stage of the oil so most likely we will end up with the seized engine which we don't really want to have but you never know um, anyways thanks for watching everyone uh, we hit 4,000 subscribers and the views going up as well so I'm glad somebody's actually interested in this kind of content and yeah I'll see you in the next video On a new adventure.